I'm Steven, and today we're gonna talk about cooking. One thing I like cooking with a lot is a wok. Um, growing up Asian, we did a lot of stir fry, and a wok is this big uh, pan, um, kind of rounded bowl pan. And what's so great about stir fry in a wok is that it's so easy, so simple, and so forgiving. Like you basically just get all the ingredients you want, which is like noodles, meat, vegetables, and you throw it all in one pan, and it's so easy and fast to cook. You don't have to worry that much about timing. I mean, you basically just throw stuff in, you know, taste it as you go, and it's ready in a few minutes. So today, we're gonna go buy a brand new wok. We're going to clean it, we're gonna season it, and then we're gonna cook some stir fry in it. I fell asleep on like the 10 minute drive over here. Emerson, wake up, buddy. It's time to go. First, we're gonna buy a wok. Now, when looking for a wok, I like to get one that's made of carbon steel that's about 14 inches in diameter and that has a double handle to make it easier to cook with. Now we'll go pick up some noodles. You can pick up some dried ones, but I like to pick up fresh noodles. You wanna hold on to that? Next, we'll get our meat. Now, I like to get thinly sliced frozen meat because you can freeze it, but then you can also throw it in the wok right away. Now for our veggies. We'll get some onion, garlic, green onions, bell pepper, carrot, cilantro, bok choy, and mushrooms. Finally, we'll get our sauces. We'll just do some basic soy sauce and oyster sauce. I know it sounds weird, but trust me, it's delicious. Okay, so we are gonna go ahead and wash our wok now. So when you're washing your wok for the very first time, uh, what you wanna do is fill it with hot water. You're gonna wanna use a metal uh, scrubby thing, and you're gonna wanna use some soap. Now, let me emphasize, this is the first and only and last time that you'll ever use soap on your wok is when you buy it brand new. You will never ever use soap again to wash your wok but we're doing it the first time because when you buy it, the factory has this kind of like chemical greasy film on it, whatever to cover it. So we're gonna wash that off. So now you're gonna take this metal scrubby thingy and just scrub it. Give it a good scrub. Remember, you're getting all the chemicals off of it. Okay, once you're done uh, washing and scrubbing down your wok, you're gonna put, go ahead and put it onto the stove, uh, turn that fire up, and you're gonna leave it there and let the fire and heat just evaporate. Now, to season your wok, all you really need is um, oil, like olive oil, uh, vegetable oil, canola oil. Um, some people like to season it uh, with some base seasonings, um, like garlic, uh, cilantro, onion, ginger. I'm just gonna do some uh, garlic and cilantro. I mean, garlic and onion. So first, we're gonna go ahead and pour a little bit of olive oil into the wok. We're gonna turn the heat to medium. And then just let it go all over the wok. Try to spread it out as much as possible. Then I will go ahead and throw this in. Spread that around. 
and uh, just let that go for like a couple of minutes. This is helping to create like the base flavor uh, for the wok. Once it starts browning, um, this is when I'm gonna take out the seasonings. Then you're gonna take a paper towel and then you're gonna wipe down all the um, oil. And you're gonna wipe it just all around the wall. Once that's done, go ahead and put it on low. And just let it sit there and dry, okay? Remember, it's gonna be hot, but um, just let it uh, dry off a little bit. Okay, so I like to get all my vegetables ready before I actually stir fry, so I'm not worrying about cutting it and having the timing right. So we're gonna go ahead and do all the vegetables right now. Now we have our veggies all chopped up and ready to go. Now these are the ones that I like to use, but you can honestly just use whichever ones you like. Now I'm gonna go ahead and prepare the noodles. So the wet noodles I got, you just have to boil them for three minutes and then they're ready to go. But um, I like to do this before I stir fry once again, just so that everything is ready. Okay, so now we're ready to stir fry. We've got everything that we need. We've got our vegetables, we've got our noodles, we've got the meat that we bought uh, from the store earlier. Uh, it's still frozen, but it's okay because it's gonna cook really quickly. And we've got our uh, two seasonings, um, oyster sauce and soy sauce. You can use a lot more, but um, honestly, that's enough. Uh, it just depends on what you like. And then oil. couple minutes or so, I'm um, gonna go ahead and throw in the meat. Gonna throw that in there like that. Break it up into smaller slices with smaller pieces as well. This time I'm gonna throw in the carrots, uh, the bell pepper, and the uh, mushrooms. So all the kind of thicker, harder vegetables. Keep stirring that around as it fries and stir fry. After a few minutes, throw in the rest of the vegetables, all the leafy uh, vegetables. Mix that in. I'll go ahead and take my oyster sauce and just dump that on. Also put in the soy sauce. And then, lastly, we'll put in the noodles that we made. Go ahead and just break that up and stir that in. So then from now on, it's, it's pretty close to done. Um, you'll want to just taste the noodles, taste the meat, just to make sure, uh, taste some of the vegetables to make sure everything's cooked properly. Uh, and now our stir fry is done and it's ready to serve. Pick up what you want. So now we've got our bowl of stir fry. I like to add sriracha on mine. Um, it adds a nice 
nice little kick to it. So we'll go ahead and put some sriracha on there. Okay, so once you are done cooking your wok, it's time to clean it. Now this is super important. Never use soap on a wok. Um, never ever. You're gonna first uh, just soak it with hot water. Um, this will help loosen up some of the extra food that's on the wok. So if the food is particular, particularly sticky um, and it's hard to get off, go ahead and just soak it in some water and let it sit there for a few minutes and it'll loosen right up. After the water's been sitting in the wok for a while, you can go ahead and pour that water out. And as you can see, most of the food's been broken up already. What you can also do is use a sponge, the hard side of the sponge, but just make sure that you rinse out all the soap from the sponge first. And we'll use a sponge and we're just going to rub off all the food chunks that are on the wok. Now, once you've uh, gotten all the food chunks off the wok and you've wa uh, washed around, you'll notice that there are some um, brown stain marks here and there. That's part of the process. Um, over time, as you use this wok more and more, it's going to get darker and darker and darker, and that's the seal of uh, seasoning that's going to slowly be added to the wok. Um, now, we're going to go ahead and put it back onto the stove, and we're going to uh, turn on the burner and evaporate all the water. So now, we're going to put the wok on, turn up the burner on high, and let it sit there for a while until the water evaporates. Once the water evaporates, we're going to put a little bit of olive oil, just like when we seasoned it at the very beginning. Olive oil, vegetable, whatever. Um, just put that into the wok, turn off the burner, and just let it uh, move around and cover as much of the wok as you can. So as you kind of see uh, some steam coming off of the side uh, with the oil, you're going to turn it down to low. And once again, get a paper towel, get like a wooden spoon or something, and you're going to just wipe it around. So again, once this wok is very, very hot right now, but the oil that you're putting in is sealing in all that flavor and seasoning that you just cooked with. Um, and over time, uh, your food is just going to get better and better. And once that's done, go ahead and turn off the fire, set the wok off to the side and just let it naturally dry by itself because it's very, very hot so you don't want to touch it. But once it's cool, go ahead and hang it up, uh, put it away wherever that is. So that's how you stir fry in a wok. I hope you enjoyed that video. I had a lot of fun making it. And if you liked it, uh, please give it a like and also subscribe to this channel. I'm gonna be making a lot more videos, um, both on cooking and on also um, other lifestyle stuff. So I hope to see you in the next one.